What's up everyone, Adam Engel, Daniel Allen, Rowdy Barabo coming at you from Gallagher Iba Arena after a yeah, after a 2012 loss for Oklahoma State against Iowa State. Guys, it's the first time the Cowboys have lost consecutive home duels since 1993. There were some wins, but overall, uh, sluggish performance from the Cowboys. Yeah, Coach, coach uh, said post-duel post, post -duel that um, they came in ex or knowing that they needed to win uh, you know, six, duel, mm -hmm. or six bouts today, um, especially with the, with the loss yesterday. Um, just kind of reeling in their heads, and obviously with the absence of um, some of their key wrestlers um, obviously you know, he said he said they expected to they expected and they know, knew they needed to win uh, six bouts and they didn't do that today. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I thought uh, a few guys who did wrestle really well were uh, Dustin Plott and Kane uh, Gefeller. Kane Gefeller had arguably the match of the night as he sent a GIA in a frenzy with his uh, sudden victory uh, win and then uh, Dustin Plott came out and wrestled really tough had a few non-takedown body slams that weren't uh, counted as takedowns, but he came out and looked arguably as if the, he was the most physical wrestler uh, OSU had today. Yeah, and the other thing is uh, bottom struggles continued for Oklahoma State. I know uh, Coach Smith was asked, man, how can you, I know you talk about attitude and toughness, but how can you actually do that? And then he's like, well, you know, I, I'm not going to really tell you my secrets, but we'll just get better. But we're like, well, how do we know they're going to get better, right? It was a poor performance last night, a poor performance again tonight. How can OSU fans, um, I mean, they didn't see it last night, they didn't see it today. Are they going to see it next week? I guess we'll see. But Something something um, encouraging. Um, last night against Northern Iowa, you saw Travis Whitlake, his first mm -hmm. first uh, duel back, came off a bit sluggish um, tonight, first period, or today rather, first period, came off a bit sluggish, but ended up in a pretty productive next two, mm -hmm. next two, um, next two periods, and obviously a 5-1 win. Yeah, it's all the and for Whitlick, he actually uh, scored something, he actually scored. Like yesterday, he was shut out 2-0. He had a uh, reversal, two-point near fall, and riding time. Rowdy, anything else for you to add? i say, uh, really, going off of what uh, Caden Gefeller and Dayton Fix talked about post-match, uh, they just really think that, that their best improvement is bouncing back from the loss but really this loss it, it's not going to negatively affect them because they have to just move past it and if, if they can't move past it then obviously it will negatively affect them but the message is for these guys is to move past it and uh, just put it behind them and move forward to the next matches because it's not going to get any easier down the road on this Oklahoma State schedule they've got a lot of tough opponents ahead and uh, they've got to stay focused and be able to put the ugly matches behind them and get prepared for the new ones. Right, and the other thing Caden, Caden said, he's like, yeah, you know, our season's not over. We got to peak at the right time. We got to peak at March. And he said, I think we've got some guys that can do that. I mean, the, when it comes March, we'll be ready to go. So right. we'll see. I mean, obviously, what a what a what an opportunity for Gavin Sick, I think, mm -hmm. right? Two straight uh, two straight duels where he essentially it essentially came down to him. Yeah. Um, he, he had, yeah. had an opportunity to put the Cowboys in a position to win both yeah. times. Um, he did, did it last night. night. You know, had a significantly tougher opponent tonight. But I mean, what an opportunity in your first two starts, right? Right. No, and it's, it's good. You know, Coach Smith said, "Yeah, Gavin, it's just great that he's wrestling for us because he's a guy that has been here for a while. I think he's a redshirt junior, yeah. so yeah. he took full advantage of those opportunities." Anything else for you guys to add? All right. Well, final score here from Gallagher Iba Arena. 2012 in favor of the seventh ranked Cyclones. We will see you next Friday when Oklahoma State's State hosts South Dakota State. Thanks for watching. Thanks.